Everyone's noticed, but few dare to admit it. Smartphones have become a nuisance. Every year, it's the same old story. A colorful presentation, recycled promises, and a new number stamped on the box, which, by the way, looks the same as always. In 2026, we're still debating whether the frame is back to aluminum or if the camera has one more megapixel. It's as if the industry has surrendered to autopilot. Even the commercials seem AI-made, repetitive, generic, and soulless. And when something breaks, which happens sooner than it should, the repair costs the same as a new laptop. Now tell me, where did this so-called digital revolution go? That's when Elon Musk decided to enter the game, not to compete with yet another thin device with a protruding camera, but to break the cycle. The announcement of the Tesla Pi phone, scheduled for January 2026, didn't come with fireworks. It came with a bang, a device costing $789, made with rocket material, an electric car battery, and a direct satellite connection. Yes, free Starlink forever, built into the phone. It sounds like science fiction, but it's exactly the kind of parallel reality Musk likes to bring into the present. The industry was dozing off, and he arrived with the alarm clock in hand. While Apple and Samsung try to justify the price jump with a 12% brighter night mode, Tesla appears saying, what if your phone never needed Wi-Fi again? This simple question already throws all market logic into disarray. After all, we're not talking about a new brand in the sector. We're talking about a brand that manufactures autonomous cars, humanoid robots, and spaceships. So it makes sense when Musk says that Tesla has never been just a car manufacturer. Now, it wants to put control of this entire ecosystem in the palm of your hand. Literally. And there's more. The Pi phone isn't just about hardware. It's about purpose. While other brands hide sensors behind glass to look cleaner, Tesla makes it clear that the goal here is durability. It's about being useful. It's about not depending on a carrier, an adapter, or updates that freeze the phone. Elon Musk made it clear in a meeting with shareholders. The Pi phone is the first step in freeing the consumer from the captivity of big tech. A device that doesn't spy on you, doesn't force you to sign up for another plan, and still works even if you're in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. And the craziest thing is that all this didn't come after years of rumors. It came out of nowhere. In the midst of the leak era, nobody knew anything until Musk went on stage and dropped the bombshell. Suddenly, Camera comparisons between iPhone and Galaxy completely lost their meaning. Because now we're talking about a phone with its own chip, its own operating system, its own connectivity, and its own vision of the future. A future where the user no longer has to choose between paying a high price or staying disconnected. They simply buy it once and they're in. If all this seems too good to be true, perhaps that's precisely the point. The market has become so cynical, so accustomed to technological crumbs, that any truly new proposal sounds like an exaggeration. But Tesla isn't promising holograms or foldable phones with breakable screens. It's promising real functionality for real people at a price that fits in your pocket. And look, when the company that sends rockets into space says it's going to revolutionize smartphones, maybe it's worth listening. Gradually, the public realized that this story wasn't just another marketing ploy. Comparisons with the iPhone 17 became a joke on the internet. While Apple's phone scratches just by looking at it, the Pi phone promises to be truly durable. While one requires you to buy extra cloud storage, the other delivers up to one TT QNT byte of storage with built-in global connectivity. The game changer isn't just in the features, but in the approach. For the first time in years, the user isn't treated as dependent. They are treated as an intelligent individual who deserves better. The first thing that catches your eye on the Tesla Pi phone as soon as you look at it is its design, which conveys a sense of quiet robustness. Nothing screams for attention. 
There's no giant camera that makes the phone wobble on the table, nor a frame that looks like it's made from recycled plastic from an office drawer. What you have is a solid, elegant body with straight lines, gently rounded edges, and a matte finish that looks more like a piece of military engineering. Musk didn't want to make a pretty phone just for selfies. He wanted to make a device you could throw in your backpack and forget about without fear of opening the screen and finding a web of cracks. And here comes the icing on the cake, the material. The Pi phone isn't made with second-rate aluminum or glass that cracks if you touch it the wrong way. It's aerospace-grade titanium, the same type used in rockets and structural parts of Tesla vehicles. But it doesn't stop there. The entire structure is covered with a self-healing nano-coating. That's right, scratched. Small scratches disappear on their own over time, as if the phone had its own skin. This not only prolongs the life of the device, but also prevents you from having to put it in an ugly case just to protect it from minor everyday accidents. But the care isn't just about the looks. The design is also focused on the real-world user experience. The curvature of the edges was calculated to fit better in the hand. Not too thin to slip, nor too thick to feel like a brick. Nothing was improvised. The buttons are embedded in the chassis almost imperceptibly, with precise and smooth tactile feedback. The matte finish prevents those fingerprint smudges that turn the back of the phone into a fingerprint festival. And the weight, 30% less than an iPhone with a steel frame, makes an incredible difference after a few hours holding the device. In durability tests, the numbers are also surprising. In drop and pressure simulations, the Pi phone achieved a 9.2 out of 10 in the durability index, while the iPhone 17 scored 7.5. And this isn't just a number to inflate advertising, it's the result of a design conceived to withstand life as it is. Tight pockets, accidental drops, humidity, heat, cold, a backpack thrown on the ground. The kind of thing everyone faces, but that current smartphones pretend doesn't exist until the day they crack or swell from overheating. Another thing that stands out is how Tesla completely ignored the trend of making ultra-thin phones. Elon Musk has openly said that sacrificing battery and structure for a few millimeters less is foolish, and it's hard to disagree. The Pi phone has the ideal thickness to house the components without compromising durability or battery life. No paper-thin body that overheats. The phone was designed to last for years, not to impress with millimeters on the spec sheet. And there's a detail that seems small, but makes all the difference. The colors. No limited edition orchid blue or Scandinavian summer moonlight pink. The Pi phone arrives in neutral, solid, elegant tones, designed to withstand the test of time not the trends of the season. This reinforces the idea of a product with its own personality, without needing visual tricks to attract attention. Whoever looks at it understands that it's something different. It's not just appearance, it's identity. The overall design sends a clear message. This phone wasn't made for brightly lit shop windows. It was made for real world use. People who walk, run, work, travel, and don't want a phone that requires porcelain-like care. And frankly, this type of offering is starting to become scarce in the market. Consumers are tired of paying more for less, tired of empty promises. And the Pi phone seems to be the first in a long time that truly delivers on its promises, with a design that prioritizes experience over ostentation. If there's one area where everyone has struggled with smartphones, it's the battery. And it's not just a matter of duration, it's about the confidence that the device will last all day without letting you down. And, once again, Tesla solved this in a way only they could, applying their knowledge of electric car batteries to a cell phone. The Tesla Pi phone comes equipped with a 6,542 beat May May battery, a number that is already impressive in itself. But what really surprises is the performance. 57 uninterrupted hours of YouTube playback without needing to touch the charger. That's more than double what any top-of-the-line iPhone can deliver. 
But the secret isn't just in the battery size, it's in the technology. While other brands are still trying to get the most out of lithium-ion batteries, Tesla skipped that step and went straight to the next generation, aluminum ion. This technology is safer, charges faster, doesn't overheat as much, and has a much longer lifespan. And the most curious thing, it was born within Tesla's laboratories, originally developed for long-range electric vehicles. In other words, if it can withstand the pressure of driving 400,000 kilometers in a car, imagine what it can do inside a cell phone. And it doesn't stop there. The intelligent charging system was designed to preserve battery health in the long term. No more promising 0 to 100% charging in 10 minutes and seeing the battery die after a year. The Pi phone goes from 10% to 80% in about 35 to 40 minutes, with a current automatically adjusted to maintain the ideal temperature throughout the process. This avoids that heat that fries your wallet and destroys the device's efficiency. It's fast charging, but with responsibility, something most brands still ignore. Another detail worth highlighting is how Tesla considers the complete battery life cycle. You know how cell phones start to lose power faster after a year? Well, with aluminum ion batteries, this effect is drastically reduced. In Tesla's own tests, degradation after 1,000 charge cycles was only 5%, compared to 20% to 30% for current lithium-ion models. This means that even after two or three years of heavy use, the Pi phone will still have the same amount of power as when it came out of the box. And this resistance isn't just against time, but also against extreme environments. The Pi phone's battery was tested in conditions of intense heat, extreme cold, and even constant humidity, and remained stable. This is especially important for those who live in tropical regions or use their cell phone in environments with wide temperature variations. While other devices shut down or swell, Tesla's remains strong, delivering power without interruptions. And if you're thinking about sustainability, there's another positive point. Aluminum is much more abundant and recyclable than lithium. Tesla claims that the environmental impact of producing these batteries is much lower, reinforcing the image of a conscious product, both in terms of efficiency and ecological responsibility. It's not just about selling, it's about transforming the way we consume technology. Elon Musk could very well have taken the easy way out and thrown a 200 megapixel camera in there just to compete with the marketing of his competitors. But he decided to do the opposite. Instead of entering the war of inflated numbers, Tesla opted for a smarter and, frankly, much more useful approach. Cameras with solid hardware, but powered by real artificial intelligence. The Tesla Pi phone comes with five 48 megapixel rear cameras each, with 10x optical zoom, but what really impresses is what happens after the photo is taken. The AI embedded in the system, developed based on the algorithms of Tesla vehicles themselves, is the brains behind everything. It analyzes light, corrects shadows, adjusts contrast, balances colors, and can even remove unwanted objects from the image with a simple touch. Like that random lamp post that ruins the landscape or a car that suddenly appeared in the background, everything disappears, like magic, but without needing to install a third-party app. And the craziest part? This is done directly on the device, without depending on the cloud or an internet connection. But the camera's intelligence doesn't stop there. It learns from your photographic style. If you usually take photos indoors or prefer softer tones, the system starts adapting the settings automatically without you having to navigate complicated menus. It's like having a professional image editor built into your pocket. And all this without draining the battery, thanks to the heavy optimization of XOS, Tesla's own operating system. Another detail that Tesla handled with class was the camera module design. No protrusion that makes the phone wobble on the table or get caught in your pocket. The module is completely flat, elegantly and robustly embedded in the casing. This significantly reduces the risk of cracks from falls and also improves the fit on tripods or stands. 
It's a phone designed for both casual use and the demanding content creator. In night photography tests, the Pi phone cameras delivered images with very low noise, even in low light environments. This is because the sensor, in conjunction with AI, can simulate multiple exposures and merge them in real time, resulting in a much cleaner final image with well-defined details and without that exaggerated artificial sharpness effect that looks like it was hand-painted. Yes, video also received special attention. The Pi phone records in 8K with active stabilization using all five lenses together to correct movement, tremors, and focus variations. It's possible to film with real-time zoom without losing definition and capture spatial audio with dynamic noise cancellation. It's the kind of feature you normally only see in professional cameras, but now it fits in your pocket. Literally, most cell phones today seem like a variation on the same theme. Android disguised with a new skin or an iOS stuck in updates that break more than they fix. But the Tesla Pi phone has arrived to break this cycle with a 100% new operating system created from scratch by Tesla itself. The name is straightforward. XOS. It's not a modified Android, nor an iOS clone. It's a Linux-based system, but one that has been completely rebuilt with a focus on fluidity, security, and integration with artificial intelligence. And, wow, it's impressive how much this changes the experience. The ease of use is incredible. No random freezes, no stuttering animations when you open two apps at the same time. Everything runs smoothly, even with dozens of background processes. And that's not just because of the system, it's because the XOS was designed to communicate directly with the X23, the chip developed specifically for the Pi phone. With an 8-core CPU and an 8-core GPU, the performance is that of a gaming laptop, but in the palm of your hand. And the best part, even with all this power, the device remains cool and quiet. The X23 chip also supports tasks that go beyond the basics. Want to edit 8K videos directly on your phone? It can handle it. Want to run augmented reality apps, games with ultra-realistic environments, or even create 3D models? Go for it. And there's more. The X23 was built with 2 nanometer technology, which guarantees more speed, less power consumption, and much greater efficiency. And all this works in sync with the system's integrated AI, which anticipates what you're going to do and optimizes resources even before you touch the screen. Another brilliant feature was local privacy. Instead of sending your data to distant servers, the XOS processes everything directly on the device. Your photos, habits, calendar, browsing history, everything is stored locally, encrypted, and inaccessible to third parties. This means you'll no longer receive ads for something just because you mentioned it to a friend. Here, your phone is truly yours. No spies, no silent mining, no invisible tracking, and the personalization simply unparalleled. The XOS learns from your patterns and reorganizes apps, widgets, and notifications based on what you actually use. If you usually wake up and open the music player, it will automatically place the controls on the lock screen. If you have regular meetings, the phone will silence itself without you having to schedule anything, 